episode. So today's topic is something which would sound weird, right? Because I'm a dude and I'm going to be speaking about wedding dresses. No, I'm not a fashion designer. Nope, I'm not going to be getting married anytime soon, I believe. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. Okay, nah, I'm not, yeah, nah. Now, maybe one day, but not, not anytime soon. I think. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. So why am I speaking about wedding dresses? So it's a very weird story, but it's interesting. Okay. So what was up at some other time? Like I lost my, my brother's SIM card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I lost his SIM card. And because I tend to throw things away, the first place or one of the first places he searched it was in the trash. So he had like it just been uh, the, the trash um, all over the floor. Okay, not inside the house, but outside. And as we were searching for the SIM card, I, I saw like a rose. I don't know if it's called a rose, but it was a white rose. And I took it. I don't know why I took it, but like I think I was trying to teach him something. I don't know. Uh, but I took it. And and I, so so the, the, the rose had not yet blossomed. So it is like nicely, nicely. Hmm, I don't want to say packed, but yeah, yeah, ish, my, my English, that's a bunch of the, okay, but yeah, it is, yeah, it, it had not yet blossomed, so uh, I found myself, like, peeling it off, and so, like, peeling it off, and as I was doing that, peeling it off, that's so nice, but, like, okay, as I was doing that, like, uh, uh, a verse that came to mind was the, uh, is what Jesus said on the Sermon on the Mount when he was telling people not to worry about their clothes. Like, don't stress about what you're going to wear because if the father would dress like the the flowers in such a manner, um, who, who is much more valued than the flowers, uh, definitely going to receive some really nice comments because not even Solomon was dressed in such nice attire. So as I was peeling that off, I was like, wait, Jesus was actually telling the truth. Like, wow, this is some quality, quality, quality stuff. So I was, let's say I'm dressing it. I'm dressing, and that is what I was honestly doing. I was undressing that flower. So as I was undressing it, undressing it, undressing it, I, I, I received a very strange sensation. So a part of me was like, please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. But yeah, so a part of me, I felt like it was like I was uncovering my my wife in a way. It's like, okay, I want to see what's inside. I want to see that. So I was slowly uncovering, 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 uncovering it. And I was just so impressed by by, by those garments. I was like, whoa. So I was busy uncovering it. Cover uh, until that, um, I don't know what they call it, but that shandies where, where the bees uh, receive uh, nectar and stuff. That uh, the, the the insides of the flower, what are so what appears when it has blossomed. Yeah, yeah. Until uh, and when I saw that, I wasn't that much impressed, but I was so satisfied by that entire experience. And I was like, damn, I want to marry such a wife i want to marry someone who is very well dressed i want to marry someone who is very well covered i really enjoyed uncovering and it made me remember like something that um uh, pastor joe said one time it was like ladies ladies don't show too much skin too much skin ish ish man you your husband man that's like mm. You won't have like anything to, to uncover. He, he's seen it all. And and uh, and my grandma also said like something similar to me. She was like, "Hey, old man, like uh, when you get dressed, like don't wear something which is too tight and too invading and show your muscles to everyone." Uh, I, I think she was speaking to future's feet because so, uh, current day's feet so does not have any muscle. Uh, yeah, like okay, the, yeah, okay. I do have muscles, like, like because everyone has muscles, but like muscles, like I don't have muscles, muscles. Yeah, so, okay, 
Then let me know if this on the situation. Okay. So, so, so she was like, man, like, where, where? People should be surprised. Your wife should be surprised when she sees it. Like, yo, this is my man. This is my man. Whoa. And so, I was like, wow. Who knew that from this flower that can receive so many lessons? Who knew? And, and it, it, it affirmed my belief that, um, as human beings, like God gave us two books. Um, he gave us the Bible and also he gave us nature. Yeah. But that, but that is besides the point. Another, another, another impression that's the, the flower. I don't know what it's called. I'm so sorry. Another impression that the flower had on me was, was what was its color. So the entire shade she like it was a white flower and I was undressing a white. So I was thinking about my wedding day. I do not want to lie to you. One thing that um uh really touched me or we really had a profound impact on me was that I was like, I want to marry such a wife, but like deep down I felt undeserving of such a wife. Like I felt like who am I to because such a nicely covered woman is nothing but a princess. Like is she's pure. She's and so like, I mean I'm just this dirty individual who has ruined himself. So that was one thing. And it made me think about like wedding dresses. And traditionally speaking, like um a traditional white wedding, uh, the lady wears white to symbolize her purity. Like, um, so, 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 um, yeah, the white is a symbol of purity. You are pure. And nowadays, I think it's just a norm. A norm. So it's like a white wedding. And you think white people and not really thinking that the white, the white, uh, symbolizes purity. And I was like, what if? Wedding dresses were more were more honest. Or what if wedding attires were more honest? Because if you just focus on wedding dresses, then that would be like somewhat unfair because like um even purity from the cheaters is, is something which we should speak about. Like why don't we speak about male virgins? And so on. And like a part of me, like a very great part of me is like Sfiso, you messed up, man. You messed up. But honestly, I did not know any better so what if wedding dresses were more honest what if wedding dresses were and our wedding attire our wedding attire was more honest let's say if you've been busy here and then maybe you're gonna wear like a a gray a gray wedding dress or if 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 you've been getting down and so you've been here you've been you've been doing it uh you wear maybe um um, a uh, white wedding dress, but which is covered in dirt and mud and what, what. But to make things simpler, maybe we should get married in, in, in camouflage, like camo. Like, yeah, we will be out there looking like soldiers and be like, hey, we've been, we've been doing this. Like, we are, we are soldiers in this. Like, we've been, we've been, like, yeah. Like, we, cause, cause, cause I think camouflage is like, is perfect. Cause it shows that we have blended with the earth like we've blended with dirt like we yeah like we've seen the green pastures we've seen the uh the the mud the dirt everything like we are very well experienced like we have covered the earth i think i think yeah i think it would be more 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 interesting and it it, would be more honest where when a chance sees that okay I'm gonna be getting married to a, a, a sergeant. Like, it's okay, this 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 lady of mine is no is no dove, man. Like, hey, yeah, she 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 has earned more stripes than me. I think I think I think I think that would humble a lot of dudes, and the the, the ego, the ego would be slightly less. Uh, <coughs> maybe you're not gonna play. I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm just saying. And I think cheetahs, because we are pigs, I uh, should maybe wear a, a tux which is made out of pig skin. 
Yeah, like it should be made out of pig skin, like from even everything, maybe even the shirt. I don't know, like the pig leather or maybe dog should be made out of dog. And you tell everybody, you know, nah, man, but what are you wearing? Like I'm wearing dog, like um, I'm wearing, uh, um, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know which dog, which is the nastiest dog, you know. I it. dogs are just nasty, so yeah, so like I'm wearing a dog. Or maybe worms. Imagine if you have a, a tax which has like moving worms, which shows that you're just a filthy individual. So, or, 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 or maggots, like yeah, maggots, and then you have flies, like and and and, and yeah, like yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. I think that would be very dope. I think it would be more honest, and even in the wedding, like he, people should not consider it as a fashion statement, but as a statement that. This is what I've been doing. This is how I've been getting down. And I'm wearing this to show what I'm actually bringing to the table that I am a filthy, filthy individual. Now, I'm told, I believe that would be more worthwhile. I believe that would uh, really um, be interesting. Um, it, uh, imagine like a guy wearing like a uh, snake, snake, snake boots or snake uh, uh shoes which are made out of a uh, snake and then you're like yeah i'm a snake i'm a snake it's not a fashion statement it's like a, i'm a snake i'm told uh, if if you're wearing like crocodile you're like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna be fake crying the entire entire marriage like i'm gonna be pretending to care but i just don't i just don't i eat i eat yeah yeah like i I eat, I'm gonna I'm gonna be eating a while, I'm gonna be waiting the entire day. Drinking, drinking, drinking somewhere. And I'm gonna be eating and you're gonna be waiting for me at home. Just know that I'm gonna be eating and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit you with them crocodile tears. I think it will be something which is very true, very honest. And it would uh, really, really help us to avoid any disappointments. Really? Would it? Honestly, I do not think that uh, it is something that I would actually like to do. I don't think I'd be able to enter into such a a, a marriage. Uh, I don't think it's it's something anyone would uh or anyone who who still has any kind of morality would be willing to do such nonsense. And um I think if 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 we knew any better, we would pay more attention to 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 our purity and how we how we uh, did things. Cause 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 there are many there are many. I'm also included, as as I was telling you that uh, very deep inside of me, like I would very be happy to. To, 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 to meet someone who, who is well covered like that little flower of mine but now I'm told am I deserving of such and probably now you're not deserving of that that you've been a snake you've been a pig you've been a, a very dirty individual and so you are a worm throughout and so on so 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 why should you and so on. But if we knew any better, then we, we would have made very different decisions. So uh, I see, I see many guys, um, killing themselves. And so uh, we, we abuse ourselves with a lot of stuff. I used to abuse myself by, by, by watching porn and all that. And that just distorts our self image. So I'm probably getting ahead of myself speaking about marriage attire and all that stuff. Maybe thinking that marriage, men and gag is bad, and that's the problem. That's the problem. We don't value like things which, which are beautiful. Yeah, I don't think we, we 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 have any virtues anymore. Like there's it's just dead people. We be like zombies. I'm told we the Walking Dead, and we think that we are hope. Yeah, we are sleepwalking, man. So, <coughs> excuse me. 
，两转。So I if 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 only we knew better, but there is a chance. So there is a chance. I was beating myself up, but I was reading a、uh, reading a lot about him. And until the end, you come to Jesus Christ. He is able to 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 wash you. To wash that camel, young son, a little camouflage when you've been in many wars, is able to wash you, wash you, and make you and make you come into whiter than the snow. Just come to Jesus, and He will wash you and wash you and wash you. But the Bible tells us that repentance and the remission of sin must be preached in His name. So the 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 washing and the cleansing. Also comes with repentance, so you must be willing to repent. What do I mean by repent? What I mean is that truly, 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 you must be willing to separate yourself from sin. You must be willing to separate yourself from all your wicked ways, because the Bible clearly tells us that no dog will enter heaven. So what's the point if you are a dog? And then we're gonna wash you, and then you return back to doing your doggy stuff until you're a pig, and then you get a cleansing, and then back to the same thing until. So it's why no dogs will enter heaven. Were they speaking about uh dogs? Like no, no, they were speaking about dogs, like people who behave as dogs and not do dogs do. Dogs sleep around. Bark at everything. Dogs, just real. We cannot say a dog is perverted because it's a dog. But if you're a human being and you behave like a dog, then there's something very wrong with you. So that's the shandy. Is that no dog? So you you must be willing to separate yourself from your doggy ways. But because you love sin, especially sexual sin, because. Uh, sexual sin is something which you very, which you you hold very close to you and consider as very dear to you. Must be willing to take extreme measures. Jesus said that if your right hand causes you to sin, drop it off. It is better for you to enter heaven with one arm than for you to enter hell with both. If your right foot causes you to sin or your leg causes you to sin. What do you do? Drop it off. Drop it off. It is better for you to enter heaven without it than for you to enter hell with it. And so, and this applies to even other stuff. If your friends lead you to sin or your girlfriend leads you to sin, what does that mean? Cut it off. It is better for you to 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 enter heaven with. With without a girlfriend, then for you to enter hell with a girlfriend. And looking at today's relationships, I doubt if you're gonna gonna last that long. Ah,、uh, but you probably won't do that. But please, please,、uh, okay, let me not say you probably won't do that. Some, some, some won't do that. Some, some, like really think that a a a girlfriend is all a girlfriend is what what. But consider yourself. Consider this: Are you willing to burn for all of eternity? Why are why? Why are burning, burning forever? And forever is a very long time. Like um, uh, a billion years is or a trillion years is, is is way better than forever. Like okay, a trillion years is very very long. But at least, like you know that okay. After some time, I'm gonna get out of this forever, for eternity. I imagine like there's no stop, there's nothing, and you're just burning and burning and burning and burning, and a place which is called outer darkness. Hell is called outer darkness. So the kind of darkness you can feel. So now you be with the devil. And with his demons, and you just you feel their presence, and you feel all the, the all they are evil, and you hear countless people screaming and yelling, and and and, and crying for for mercy, like with with dread, like、uh, I want you to imagine this, like 
excuse me. Um, imagine like falling off a very tall building, like you're falling. <sighs> Mind you, you, I don't know if you know that feeling that you you get in your gut, like when you're falling, like wah, <laughs> and there's that feeling, there's that something which is like a knife that's just, just slicing through through your gut, and it's just slicing through your 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 feet, and it's like it's just wah, wah. So like those kind of screams, like really piercing your ears. And you also have that feeling. Like, like you feel like you're falling. And then, and, then, and then there are worms which are eating. And there are screams. That, and you feel the, the, the kind of darkness which you can feel. Like you feel that this is a very evil and wicked place. And it's just you know, like very dark. And, and you're screaming and you don't know who to trust. And, and, and everybody wants to kill you. But nobody can truly kill you. So they're just you're inflicting all sorts of evil on top of you. Because you are in a place of evil and torment. Are you really willing to do that for a girlfriend? Man. Yeah, baba, yeah. Yeah, Baba, yeah. And not willing to lose a conversation. How are you willing to burn in hell? Thanks, everyone. This was the first episode of the podcast. And I was your host, Sviso Atamati. Please do join us next time. Thank you.